these signs that your man is cheating on you, I'm gonna help everybody. Well, I'm not gonna help out dudes, I'm sort of a traitor. But I, I think that it's important to be honest, and if you're gonna, if you get married, it's your choice, you, and you wanna screw around, then um, you need to get divorced. So if you're, one, if you're suspecting that your boyfriend or husband is cheating, they probably are. And to be perfectly honest, they, they might as well be, and you ought to just get out of that because you don't trust them. Now, if, if you notice that your boyfriend or husband is taking a bigger, you know, there's a bigger importance, a greater importance on their appearance, like how they look, that is a surefire sign. Like all of a sudden they start worrying about like, you know, cutting their hair, right? Look at my haircut cutting their hair or, you know, just brushing their teeth, wearing cologne. They never wear cologne. It's a dead giveaway. It is. Is your boyfriend or husband um, not coming home on time? That's another big one. If they're not coming home on time and they're always at work late, sorry, that, that, that's, that's, that's probably a bad sign. Here's the big one. Do they text message a ton at all hours of the evening? Like, is it 9.30 or 10 and they're getting a text? That's, that's it. That's it right there, you know? If they're getting texts like that at night, probably, unless you know exactly who it is. If they have a friend, listen, if there's a if there's a friend, I was gonna. Uh, this sounds terrible, but I was gonna say. Well, if it's a if it's your wife and she has a male friend she talks to, that's different. It is sort of different. Um, I mean, there's a lot of variables in there. But um, listen, if if your if your wife has a friend and they're the same age, around the same age and everything. And that's kind of going on too, but um, you know, there's too much texting. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it is it every night? Then something's going on. There's there's these like signs that it's just like that's abundantly clear that your significant other is screwing around on you, especially with a dude. Like, if they're going to the gym a lot, that's that's how they look. If they're really worried about how they look. Um, you know, they, they got they got something on the slide, and you ought to just get out of it. I don't know why I don't know why people get married. I don't know why people uh, I don't know why people date. You know, I, I date. I'll date. Like nowadays, I mean, like I I'll, I would go on a date. Um, I'm good for a week nowadays. When I was younger, I could like I dated a woman like for a couple months. I lived with a woman for a year and a half. It's true. I, I dated a woman when I was real young, like in my 20s, um, for almost three years. That's, that's commitment. That's pure commitment. Now, why do I know this about um, guys and what they do when they're cheating? I was, I'm a guy. I've, I've cheated. Now, uh, with that said, like, I'm not a, I wasn't, like, the worst for sure. I did on a couple occasions, and then I got rid of my girlfriend. Um, but I was sort of at the end of my rope, and you know how it is. It's like, it, listen, ladies, if you're not giving the your your boyfriend or husband any attention, they're gonna go find it someplace else. That is a fact. And if you you don't want to have sex with your husband, why are you? even with them still, is it just about like, um, you know, what's that about? Divorce them and take them for everything they're worth. Get out of there. No, they, they, he can't have the kids because men are generally not, well, I see, I would be a good, I'd be a good father. If, I'm a good father to my, my pigeon solar. Yeah, I mean, if my if my wife was crazy and I divorced her, depending on how crazy she was, I would insist upon, you know, 
know, I'll, I'll watch the kids. They can come over to your house for the weekend. All I'm saying is don't stay in a relationship where you think somebody's screwing around on you because if you think that they're screwing around on you, they probably are. And if you, um, if the relationship's sort of built on that, you can just get out of it, move on. Life is short, you can, you can find somebody else. And I remember that that's pretty much true, that every time I was with somebody at some point, I thought that they were great. At some point, I didn't think that they were so great, and I found somebody that was even greater. But that's also indicative of who I would pick. Who I would pick was always based on my attraction to them, how attractive I thought that they were. They always had like a good personality. Some, some of the, some of the women, most of the women that I did, I would never date a dumb woman. I mean, maybe for a week or something, but. Um, I dated some women that I, I prefer smart women that's for sure and that that can be a problem in itself thank god my car passed inspection it's always stress every time you know look you have an old car like this you got to keep putting money into it so it's not as much stress as it used to be because i'm just like it's just a fact so I know it's gonna cost me money anytime I'm gonna get it inspected because it's a, you know, how old is my car? A 2005, so, you know, it's, it's getting up there. Um, the whole trick to the old car is you just have to keep putting money into it if you're gonna keep driving it. Certainly there's stuff on it that doesn't work, but it's, it has to be safe and it has to run. Yeah, one, one day I'll get a new car. One day, one day. Or newer. Maybe, it, maybe it'll be used, but it won't be. You know, this one's pretty much beat. Still works. Baby aspirin, I'm out. I like the chewable kind. It's for your heart. The doctor who discovered that was in St. Louis. I like the orange flavor. Do you know how much one of these my pillows is? It's ridiculous. It's fifty dollars for a pillow. You're out of your fucking mind. I'll I'll roll up my coat and use that as a pillow. I'm not paying fifty bucks for that. No way. And this like cheesy blue shirt that he always wears. I don't know. Good for you, my pillow guy. Why are you making millions? I want a backpack because when I'm mushroom hunting, I want to be able to take a knife and a hammer in case I find chaga. And I'm looking at these things and they're not cheap. Like, I mean, I'm looking at a small one's 40 bucks. Here's one for 10, but I bet it's just, I don't know. Maybe I better think about this. I don't know if I got one in Brooklyn. I don't think I do. You know, I don't want anything big. Here's this one for 10, you know, it's $10, that's, that's reasonable. Um, that, that would, that'd be in line with like what I would spend. It was like 10 bucks. Um, it's got a lifetime guarantee. It's, it's $10, it'll fit, fit a hammer, it'll fit a, a knife. So the, the deal is, it's like if it's cold out, I have a coat on, I can put the knife in my pocket. Um, I guess I'm gonna buy the $10 backpack, right? Yeah. There's, there's one for 14, there's 14. Maybe this one's more, more solid for 14. Maybe, maybe this is better for me, it is more solid. It's four more dollars, you know. I don't know. Maybe I should hold off. I'll hold off. I'll think about this. I'll think about this. It's a, it's a big investment. Come on. $14 or 10 I, I got to put this back and think about it. I, I, think, I think this one sort of seems really flimsy and cheap. But I can't see spending 24 And I don't, I don't really... I don't feel like I need a lot of a lot of room. I'm, I'm, you know, it's just pretty much for carrying 
a few things. So it would be ridiculous to spend. There's one for 18. Um, I don't know. I don't really know anything about backpacks. I've never had one, I don't think. Certainly didn't have one in school because that would indicate that I was taking books home with me to study. I didn't do that. I left them in the locker. I'm gonna drag a bunch of books around. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I look like Poindexter? No. No. I can't read. It's true. I can't read. I can, seriously. I can cipher too. I can cipher a bit. No, I wasn't good in school. Couldn't stand it. I was tired. I wanted to sleep. One other thing that I am looking for is like a mesh bag. Mesh is preferred for mushroom hunting. That way you, you put the mushrooms in the mesh bag and then spores will fall as you're like leaving. So you're sort of seeding the ground. It seems like that's what most people, most people use. This is a, a mess kit. I should just buy this and use this to eat with. But what would it, why would it make any difference? I'm still not, you know, I still don't want to clean it. That's the problem. But I, I am better. I, I have, you know, I'm cooking now. So I, I, um, I, I, I'm cleaning dishes. I have a few dishes. I have a pan, two pans. I have two pans, you know. I don't see a mesh bag. I tell you, I, tell you, I do. I do like, like this machete. Oh, this is real sweet. That would that would fit in the backpack. Um, the Bowie knife though is real thick, so you can hit it with a hammer. I, I want a mesh bag. I'll hold off on that. I'll do some research on what is the best mesh bag to have for mushroom hunting. It looks like a laundry bag. But you, you shouldn't stay in a relationship if if you think that they're cheating on you, then you know, even if there's it's just paranoia, um, get out of it. Get out of it. If you wanna stay in it, go talk to somebody. That's that's my suggestion and don't even bring it up until you're around some kind of mediator. Go talk to a, a, a counselor, a couples counselor. But, um, you know, you, you'll sound ridiculous if you're going off on your husband, like saying, you're going to the gym and you're wearing cologne. I know what you're doing. You're fucking around. Um, I remember I, I, I cheated on my girlfriend and um, she was miserable to me. She was horrible. And this woman, you know, caught me at the right time and she's cute. And so I remember I, I, gave, I gave her this ride and the first thing that I did was like when I, when I got back home was I, I went straight to the bathroom to wash that stink off because ladies, you know, you will smell that. So guys, if you're watching this, I'm not a traitor. I'm also giving you a suggestion here and listen up. If you're with the woman that you're, you're, you're cheating with and you're going home to the wife or the girlfriend, brush your teeth, get that stank off you. Wash it off your hands. Go straight to the bathroom. Get in the shower, okay? Get that off you so that she can't smell it on you. Women can smell that on you. Do I have to bring up Lorena Bobbitt? That's what could happen. I did a video in this Walmart where I was talking about dating a, the hypothetical 19-year-old Mennonite girl. It's hypothetical. Would I? She's an adult. And then some, some girls on there saying that I'm creepy. Well, it was hypothetical. Most of the women that I date, you know, they're all past menopause and shit. So am I really that creepy? It's hypothetical. I'm saying, would there be anything wrong? No, but I do have a friend that does date, dates um, women that are way too young. And it is creepy, you are correct. So when I'm talking about it, and wouldn't do that, maybe 20, if she was 20, 21. No, she'd have to, be, listen, honestly, out of college, out of college, I would have no problem with. I wouldn't, be fair game. Uh, would I have anything in common with a 23 year old? 
I can think of one thing I might have in common with her. But um, it's hypo once again, it's hypothetical. And I don't see a lot of 23-year-olds throwing themselves at me, so I don't think it's going to happen. So this isn't an issue. And I'm not out, you know, I'm not out looking at 23. Oh, but I would. I would. Oh, well, there you go. Now I'm sounding creepy again, aren't I? The, the dude that I know that dates the, the women that are too young, everybody I know thinks he's an idiot now. This is the truth. But I think it'd be different if it was me. They wouldn't think that I was an idiot. They'd be slapping me on the back, saying congratulations. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be an idiot either. I'd be like a 23-year-old, but she's in med school. Then it would be okay. Or like the, um, she's, she's in grad school. She's a, she's, she's a scientist. This is my 23, this is my 25-year-old girlfriend. She's a scientist. She's an astrophysicist that's got a wicked-looking pooper. I've said that to Jinyan so many times. Like, I don't have a problem. Like, if my friend, she knows who I'm talking about, Chris, from high school, like, he wasn't with who he's with, which he's, like, in a relationship. He has a kid with this woman. But let's just say, hypothetically, he wasn't, and he was dating a 22-year-old. Would I care? No, not at all. And if he was dating her, she wouldn't be, you know, a slouch. So I'd just be happy for him. As long as it's an adult... Who gives a shit where people find, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like, who, who gives a shit? It's, it, are they two consenting adults? That's it. That's, that's it. You know? Whatever you want to do is fine. It's another adult. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. Whatever you want to do. That's your business. So, hypothetically, if I did date the 24-year-old astrophysicist that looked great great and also was like a bikini model you know nobody would be giving me shit and i'd be bragging about it if i was so that's not that's not happening it's not it's not really what i'm looking for anyway now if she wasn't a bikini model but she was an underwear model i would, it would have to be like a scientist or a doctor astrophysicist something like that her dad could not be 10 years younger than me. That would be too big of a spread. It'd be weird, like, what am I, your grandpa? I could overlook that. You know, the dad, as long as he was cool, I'd, you know, I could hang out with him, give him advice. Or if, like, she was, like, 24 and, like, an actress, but she was, like, a really talented actress, super hot, was in a lot of movies that everybody's heard of or like a 28 year old congresswoman hispanic congresswoman uh yeah i think i would date her no i wouldn't have any problem with that she's she's a congresswoman she was a congresswoman but she would have to be hispanic and super hot not naming any names yeah sure why not wouldn't be an embarrassment. I'd be bragging. Are you kidding me? I'd be bragging about that. I'd be on YouTube. Check it. Check out who I'm going to the beach with today. It's me and AOC. Trump supporters. I'd be calling all of my friends that are Trump supporters. Guess who I got a date with? I'd be rubbing it in their face. They know she's hot. They're afraid of her. They are. They're, 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 the, the Republicans are terrified of that woman because she's young, she's she's bright and has a real good good game, man. The girl talks great. The girl, she's a woman, not a girl. I don't want to date a girl, I would date a woman. You have to be a woman. That means over 18. I tell you what, if, if I even like told that hypothetical story to Jinyan, like 20 28 year old congresswoman she would still sort of think like that's too young peter you know because i've put her in that same scenario and she's like no that would be like the same age as my kid but it's not your kid that's the point i mean clearly junior is more prim and proper than me like by a lot so you know she probably wouldn't where yeah i would i would of course, come on. My YouTube channel would jump. 
Oh my god. Yeah, that dog trainer that's dating AOC. It would, it would, it would fly. It would, it would fly. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm dating her or even know her. Okay, I don't know her, even though I live in New York City. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. New York City's a, well, it's a pretty big, big town. It's a big city. Is what it is. And no, I don't know her. But there's a lot of women that sort of look like her. Maybe I could find her double. Right? And just, you know, say it's AOC. No, you know, we just walk real quick. Get a video of me walking real quick with like somebody that looks like AOC and then, you know, pay the 28 year old girl to hold my hand or something. And just let rumors fly. I'll tell you one thing that's different about me lately is that I walk everywhere and I try and walk longer. Like I, I will park at the you know, not by the door of Walmart, I'll park in the very back. I've always sort of done that. But um, I may I make it harder for me. It was like when I when I was in, in New York City, I didn't need a car and then I got a car. And then um, for, I had a pet service. And when I had the pet service, it was best to use a bicycle because you could get places quicker. So I rode. But then I got the car, and it's just like, why am I gonna get on that bike? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna waste my time on a bike when I can. I can, you know, drive a car. But I'm telling you, if you're not doing any type of like workout or anything, or you know, even just what you could just walk, you know, half an hour a day, you're doing fine. But if you stop doing that. It starts catching up with you so I'm telling you if you're if you if you are in that mode right now where you are not walking and sometimes you walk and you feel winded just start walking a very short period and you'll you'll feel so much better it's about about a week I felt better and then after a full month it's not a problem I feel a lot a lot better just fantastic looking not like um, not like a model, but real cute. Ex-gymnast. She could uh, crack coconuts with her thighs. She does, she's a Pilates instructor now. She used to do hair and makeup for the industry. Not the porn industry, like, you know, movies and TV. I still talk to her. I do. I like her. I do. She, she's real funny. She's a funny girl. She's funny with a real cute face and bod. I remember I was driving and we were in my car and I said, you know, you're sort of a narcissist. And she said, this is a verbatim what she said. She looked at me and she said, gee, you think? Like that. And then she said, yeah, I know, but you know, it doesn't have anything to do with looks. And I said, yes, I know. It's about personality. She was good looking, but she wasn't totally, you know, she'd schlub around, you know, just pull her hair back and just in a ponytail, but she's very attractive, but not, you know. She's funny, narcissistic for sure, and she knew it. I think most narcissists know that, know that they're narcissist, but I like her from a distance. She's very funny. But one thing about her is she was no dumb bunny. She wasn't, I forgot how it came up, but somehow in conversation, uh, intelligence quota came up and she said that hers was like 150 and, um, but I really didn't doubt that hers was 150. She's a very brilliant woman and, um, like an underachiever. She's clearly an underachiever. She's like, maybe you want to join Mensa. I mean, I don't think she would have any problem with it. She's a narcissist. She didn't care. She's just like, that's 150. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's really fucking high. That is, that's, that's a very high IQ, 150. It's a lot of people that have high IQs that underachieve. It's sort of like a, a trademark of people with high IQs. Like, oh yeah, you can, you know, you have the ability to, uh, um, you know, keep everything in different compartments and pull them out when you need them, but you don't have the ability to, like, work a normal job. 
you know. Thank God I'm a dummy. It's, it's much better this way. It is. I hate to have 150 IQ. I can't date a dumb girl. I just, I just can't. I just, it's, it just doesn't work. It's horrible. I, you know, like, you might be attracted to somebody and then you find out that, like, um, if, if somebody's attractive, there's this thing where it's, like, attractive people, other people think that they're, they're, I thought I left my wallet in the hardware store, um, they, other people think that attractive people are smarter for some reason, but that's not the case, but it is sort of true, because if you're talking to somebody that's attractive, it might take a little bit more time to realize that they're a moron. I mean, I'm a guy, so I'm just like, this is the truth. If a woman's beautiful, she could tell me that the sky is whatever, and I'll believe it. I think most guys are like that. We're stupid. Like, you, you, you like if you're attracted to a woman, okay. I mean, look at all the guys that stay married that are just like, whatever you say, dear, you know, that kind of attitude. Like, just like kissing ass just because they're attracted, you know, attracted to them. I don't know. It's easier being single. And, um,. The, the friend of mine, I've talked about this just recently, he was, I have two friends that are get, were getting married, the one dude is not, and I'm very happy that he's not for him. This dude is great on Tinder, he's got a real good talk, he's a very friendly guy, he does real good with women, he doesn't need, you know, but everybody wants to fall in love, or you just fall in love. Man, he was smitten from the first time that he met her, man, it was just like, God. Fucking, I could tell he was whipped. But I'm, I'm really happy that, um, for him, because he would have been miserable. He's, he snipped, and she was talking about having kids and maybe like him getting unsnipped. They can do some kind of operation where, like, where he could, you know. And he was considering doing it, like getting the operation, reversing the vasectomy. That's what people do. They have like these, like you know, ideas when they're not, you know, with someone and then, you know, they start like changing their, you know, ideals to like conform with like who they love. I've done it. We all do it. You have to do that at some point, you know, I mean, even early on in the relationship, you know, how everybody's on their best behavior. At some point you're going to show them who, who you really are, you know whether you're stressed out or whatever, like you're trying not to be stressed out about them, but you're a really stressed out person, sooner or later you're gonna say, well, like, fuck it, man, I can't, I, you know, I gotta be me, and at times I'm a fucking freak, so here I am, and then, you know, it's all, it's all over from that point on, like the whole idealized, you know, relationship, or, or you know, it's, it's not there anymore because they really see who you are, and that's about the time that you should get the fuck out of that relationship because staying in staying in the, the relationship because it's like easier to stay in the relationship because you know getting out of the relationship is pain just fucking rip the band-aid off and get out of there and my suggestion to my friend was get back on tinder dude. he's good at it he likes to do it he's he's 30 he's like 32 you know, he should be on Tinder. Me, on the other hand, I tried Tinder, it didn't work so good, so, you know. I go on there and look occasionally, but it's just like, come on. It's like, a, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's, a, it's ridiculous, but he should. And I think that if you're young, I, th I think you should. But um, I don't know if you're old and you're into it, if you're into like dating and wanna put up with that garbage, go ahead, I just, I'm just, if I dealt with anybody, honestly, it had to be somebody that was just sort of like low maintenance, really didn't give a shit, you know? I, I just can't see playing the game. I can't see going on a date at this point. Like, okay, I'll pick you up at eight, or let's meet here and go out to dinner, and you know? No, I don't wanna do that. 
my idea of a date would be like, you know, maybe she invites me over, you know, and she could say, hey, why don't you come over and I'll, I'll make, I'll make tuna noodle casserole, but there is no casserole and we just do it. And then maybe we hang out, watch some TV, and then after a certain amount of time, say, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go let the dogs out. That's a great reason to get out of the girlfriend's house. Like, if, if you're like, if you don't live with your girlfriend and you don't want to spend all that time with her, you just get yourself a pet, a high maintenance pet. You can even have a low maintenance pet and say that they're a high maintenance pet. Like, you could get a cat and say, oh yeah, my cat's always chewing up the furniture. I gotta get home, you know? Just make up some kind of bullshit to get the hell out of there. That's, that's what I've done. I admit it, I've done stuff like that. With the narcissistic girl, I would use that all the time. I was rare I spent the night over there. I'd like get up at like three in the morning. I'd, after we did it, whatever that would be, mean, you know? Um, after we did it, then, you know, you fall asleep for a little while and then I wake up. First thing in my head is like, I gotta get home and take the dogs out. So what am I gonna do, lay around in bed until the morning? No, I'm out of here. Terrible boyfriend. Terrible, terrible, you know? No, I don't, I don't, I, whose birthday is it? I don't wanna go do that, come on. Your, your parents are coming in town? That's strange because I have to leave town. God, I wish I could meet them. I don't like, I don't wanna do that, you know? When I think about friends of mine that are gonna get married and they're gonna stand up in front of everybody and the woman's gonna be in a white dress and all this bullshit, I'm like, that ain't ever gonna happen with me. There's no way. Not now, no way. I talk them out of that. Why do you want to get married, baby? Because you love me. Well, that's not really a good enough reason. It'll just destroy what we have. Say stuff like that. For God's sakes, don't buy the diamond ring. Cubic zirconia looks just as good, and it's under a hundred bucks. And it's, listen, if she wants to have a diamond so bad that she's a gold digger. She'd be able to get, make, make a ring out of a piece of rope and give it to her explain to her we don't we don't need anything like this this is this is like a this is from my heart I love you this is just a symbol I don't need to spend thirty thousand dollars on a ring baby I love you we don't even need to get married that's what you say why do we even need to get you want to have a kid okay if you must you're gonna knock her up you don't have to get married you, st you still are responsible if it's your kid, you, you know. What are you gonna do, like, when y'all break up? Oh, so you were living with the woman, you had a kid, and then what, you're not gonna give child support? Legally, you're gonna have to, and morally, you should do more than that. It's your kid, you give it as much as you can. Thank God I don't have a kid, my God. College and all that bullshit, soccer teams or whatever, whatever the kids wanna do. You wanna to go to camp? Can you go to a cheaper camp? Why don't you just hang out in the backyard and I'll buy you a tent? And invite your friend over and pretend you're at camp. No, no children. I'm really happy about that. I've said this, it's the truth. Every time I got a woman knocked up, they wanted to abort it. No woman wanted to have my kid, thank you. Thank you, that's great, I really do appreciate it. I do, it's fucking awesome. God, my, my friend, my oldest friend, you know, I talked to him yesterday. He was going to see his one kid that's in college right now. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's giving me, she's going, uh, dude, that's what you do when you have a kid. I'm going out to dinner with her. I'm driving over to White Plains. You wouldn't understand this because you don't have a kid. I'm like, no, I, I don't. He said, well, that, that's that's what we do when we have children. Okay, are you gonna rub it in my nose? I don't want to. 
want a kid. I think there is one kid that's mine. It's a girl. I think she'd probably be about 28 or 29 right now. Thank God I didn't have to raise her. Her mom, I was just like having sex with. Her mom was screwing around on, you know, screwing around, so, I don't know. I, it's not my kid. It's not my kid. Just happens to look a lot like my cousin. And her dad is um, Middle Eastern, and that's her dad. You know, he's of Middle Eastern descent, super dark skinned, and she looks nothing like him. Just it's coincidence, she looks like my cousin Sarah. You know, it's just a weird coincidence. It's not my kid. It's not my kid. Strangely enough, she's a Trump supporter. It's the truth. She's into Trump. Just recently, she was saying some bullshit. It was ridiculous on Facebook, and I'm like, I can't, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this woman. Take, take your, take your Trump, Trump nonsense somewhere else. You know, it's not a good situation for anybody or anything. If you like Trump, that's fine. That's that's your deal. Don't worry about it. This is just a YouTube channel and a YouTube video. It's, it, you can you can vote whoever for whoever you want. I'm fine with it. Me, I always re voted Republican, and I didn't that time, I'll tell you that. I refused. So did other Republicans refuse. And the way the Republican Party is behaving right now, I don't know if I'll vote Republican ever again. It seems like a mess. It does. It seems like a mess. I've never heard more nonsense in my life. Like, stop lying, dude. Just, like, he says one thing and then says another. He just goes out and just, like, makes stuff up. God, daily, daily, never seen anything like it. Like it's not a presidency, it's like a, it really is, it's really like a reality show. And um, it's, it's all about lying and knowing that if people don't watch the news, that they just hear the lie, that's what they'll think. Which just is fucking bizarre, it is, it's bizarre that we have this freak doing this. There's, there's people that really have voted for him and are supporting him and because they don't watch the news, they don't really realize what's going on and it's real weird, okay? It's real weird what's going on. It's not good, not good. Never see, it's not Ron Reagan, I'll tell you that. You know, it's not Ron. This guy's a mess. This guy is a mess. You, if, you, if, you, if you have a, if there's a politician you want, you want a politician that, that strives to tell the truth and has, like, moral conviction if it's just the opposite. That is not somebody you want as a politician. They're working for you. They're work, he's supposed to be working for us, and he's, he's not. He's working against us, and he's dividing the nation. And he's doing it with these weird lies. It's just like he knows that it doesn't matter what he says because, I don't know. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to drop that, and um, good day to you all. I got some shit to do, and it's 70 degrees, so good day to you. And uh, heed my advice, don't get married, and if you are married and you think that uh, if your man's wearing aftershave and he never did that before, he's working out and worried about his appearance, he's screwing around on you. Women, I think, are a little bit sneakier, but they screw around too. So if you're in a relationship, you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter, or you're in a relationship, it's guy, guy, or girl, girl, and you suspect it, it's probably true. That's probably what's going on. And if you suspect it and it isn't going on, you might as well get out of the relationship anyway because you're thinking bad thoughts about your partner, and that's not going to work either, okay? So be like me. Stay single. It's easier. It's cheaper much easier. I was thinking about prostitution. I do that a lot. I think about prostitution and not, not me doing it. No, no. I've done it. Like when I was a kid, I was a child prostitute, but not, not anything gay or anything. It was like with this fat girl. I was paid in beer. It counts. I was a prostitute. I was a professional. I was paid for my services. Now, I'm not recommending that. And uh, I haven't done it since. 
But I, th I think about prostitution, and what, what I think about prostitution is this, is that you have sex with a woman, and then you pay her, and then you leave. Or you pay her, she gets out of the car, and you leave. Stay single. If you want to get married, that's your mistake. God, I almost said something I shouldn't. But real classy. Real classy looking. Um, but then again, I'm cheap, so it's, I'm not going to do it. And I'm, I'm just saying, I, I think about it as far as relationship goes. I'm single. I'm single, so I could do it. There would be, like, no big deal other than, like, uh, legal implications. So if I went to the Bunny Ranch, I could do it. There'd be no problem. I'm single. I'm not screwing anybody. I wouldn't be bringing anything home, you know, back home. So it, it, it is like, uh, morally, I, I don't have a problem with it. Oh, and as far as marriage goes, a little quick story. My father was against gay marriage. And my dad was a hardcore Republican dude. He would have voted for Trump. And I, I, said, I said to him, I said, like, why do you care? He goes, well, I don't really care who does what with who. He didn't. But what I care about is that it'll cost me money. And I said, how's it going to cost you money? He's like, it's always going to cost money when it's something like that. And I said to my dad, I go, Dad, this is the United States. You know, everybody has rights and everybody has the right to get married and be miserable if they want. And he said, he was silent for a few seconds. And he said, well, you know what? I see your point. <laughs>